Don't be fooled by the sun. It is really, really cold outside today, so that's why I'm dressed like an Eskimo. I have literally a puffer, button up, and then my biggest, biggest jacket that I have, but hopefully you guys will enjoy these shows that we are gonna go see today. But overall, it's a pretty beautiful day. So now we're heading over to ATM Gallery, and this is actually my first time visiting this gallery. I'm super excited. They opened in September, and they've been showing emerging artists, and Jess Fellis is no exception. She is a newer artist who is self-taught, and she actually went to school for biopsychology. And this makes sense because her portraiture focuses on her desire to find an authentic form of human expression and in the press release they talk about the fact that there's so many influences of contemporary culture and old master portraits that it's it's kind of overwhelming when it comes to influence but her desire is to find an authentic way of representing an individual and so the exhibit features 21 of her drawings and two of her paintings. And I just think they have so much personality and I'm really excited to see how her career develops over time. Here we are at Jack Barrett Gallery, and this is a show of paintings by the artist Blair Whiteford. I always on the slip up and say Blair Waldorf, <laughs> even though Blair Whiteford is a man and Blair Waldorf is a fictional character from Gossip Girl. <clears throat> but anyway, the exhibit is titled Sowing a Seed in a Field Made of Ash, and this is referencing trying to distinguish oneself in a field that's already been so developed and that's a painting. It's ironic actually, I feel like the last exhibit kind of spoke to this theme as well. But in Whiteford's works, he references religious iconography from paintings of the European Renaissance. Definitely get a taste for that in the colors and these dynamic shapes and high contrast and folds but he's reimagined devotional figures and really twisted, literally twisted <laughs> and distorted these figures because instead of the divine, Whiteford's figures are trying to evoke a different quest for meaning. He's questioning how does one become more human and at what cost? I also just love this space. It's such a unique gallery. We actually walked right past it. We completely missed it, but I love all of its little nooks and crannies and just feels like you're wandering through someone's home when you're looking at an exhibit here. This is another gem of a gallery. It's very tucked away. It's a little hard to find in Chinatown. And this is Downs and Ross Gallery, and these are works by Ragna Blay. They remind me a lot of Helen Frankenthaler. Their techniques are similar with they pour paint onto canvas and move it about. And this exhibit, as you can probably tell as you look closer, is inspired by water and the concept of letting nature take over and this happens literally when she's creating these works she almost loses control of the final product by letting the water sort of dictate the movement of the acrylic paint and i think this is really interesting and it's it's a really interesting contrast with paintings where 
the brush strokes are very present and you're just made more aware of the fact that an artist has created this as opposed to nature almost in this case. I love how many amazing female artist exhibits that we've been able to see today and it continues with this exhibit at Magenta Plains. This is an exhibit of works that Martha Diamond created in the 80s and shows off what she's really known for in her practice which are these lush cityscapes and these are of New York where she lives and works and where she was a huge part of the neo-expressionist movement and she creates these works with what's called a wet on wet uh, technique where the base layer is still wet paint and she applies more paint on top of it and sort of blurs them together you can see it really well in this painting here on the left with the yellow and the blue sort of mixing together organically This is an exhibit by Reggie Burroughs Hodges. And this is actually his first New York solo exhibit. And I am honestly immediately drawn to these works because they are subtly rebellious, <laughs> in my own words. Uh, the first thing you notice is really this matte black background. And you might be wondering, okay, this is like a woman sitting at a table. Why is this rebellious? But black or darker colors like aren't as prevalent in art because quote unquote they say um and by they i mean major auction houses that darker works like this don't sell as well 
but I think that Hodge's use of a black base is so striking and honestly makes these paintings really special. They really make his figures pop. And this is important because the subject matter of his works focus on relationships and how they influence our physical and cultural spaces. You can see here the focus of his work is on the bodies and not on their faces. And he does this to represent community and the desire to connect and not be alone. So this provides not only a metaphorical contrast of community versus being alone, to the already visual contrast of the bright bodies versus these like black backgrounds. This is another gallery that I've had the pleasure of visiting for the first time. It's Half Gallery. This is a group show that's curated by Vaughn Spann, and it's made up of 36 artists, so quite a large number of of different artists in this group honestly spans from a huge range of super emerging to a little more established like Catherine Bradford and I'll try to point out some of my favorites as we go through the exhibit because I definitely had some works that stood out to me I love this work on the right in the corner here. This is a work by Brianna Rose Brooks. And I just love the looseness of it and the colors and the freeness. It's really nice. This large work, I am a sucker for a big painting, I will say, is a work by Mosey Romney. And I just think this is stunning. And then on the far back wall, there's a work by Mike Lee. It's to the far right, it's black and white. Love this one too. 